Tonight begins with an all new episode of Keitai Denju Telepang starting right now. The following program may contain mature material some viewers may not find suitable. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, Scott here, and we're back for more Telefang action. Oh god, no. Uh... Where the hell are we? <laughs> Wow. Oh my god. Where are we going up We're to see, up like, here. Kahuka's site? Yes. Where are we yeah. going to see this, like, super god Denju ultimate power super saiyan thing? Yes. There... A, I feel like that's what it's gonna amount to, is some weird thing turning super saiyan. I don't know about that. Super saiyan blue. As the new Dragon Ball Super anime calls it. When we last left off, weren't we trying to imprison the devil in the mountain? Oh uh, yeah, that's what we were trying to do. We gotta find good old Satan. What's this guy? Ah, oh, phone call. I, it seems there look? are many T-phones in the confusing forest. It must be the Kahoot of Sanarba doing something. Sith. There. Beck, tell me and I will use the phone to drive them away. How do you use a phone to drive things away? Can I voice Satan? No. Maybe. <laughs> I, wanna, I wanna be Satan. Uh, some strange people are looking for the supernatural electric monsters and they have come in here. Wow, that's oh, very wow. descriptive. Which way do we go? Straight. Let's just all go straight. Go as straight as you can go. Stairs. Uh, yeah. Let's go down the stairs. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. That's very descriptive. Right. Oh. Oh. Don't want it. Just kill it or run away. Oh, he's cute. Does he have a little hat? Yes. yes. He's got a little bullet hat. <laughs> it is a hat. Oh, it's adorable! Oh my god! Oh, he's... oh we can take the get phone him. number! Get him! No. I don't care what he is, get him! He's oh, terrible. man. Do you really want him? Yes. Alright, save. Yay! Oh. Where are you, supernatural electric monster? Come out, please. I really just read that as Hitler, and I feel like a bad person. Ah, <laughs> oh. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I mean, can you blame me? Yes, yes, we can. Well, fine. So, we basically had to defeat a whole bunch of trainers in this cave and find our way to Gawerk. To who? G A W E R K. Gawerk. I have no idea who that is. Uh, um, he's a level 70, so. I'm going to assume he's Satan. Alright. I'm just going to assume everyone who we don't know now that we have to quote unquote find is going to be Satan. Fair enough. Unless it specifically says, hey, let's go find Satan, then I'm just going to assume. <laughs> oh, jeez. Like, for all I know, that flaming bird thing is Satan. Except, you know, it's just cow taste. Stop throwing bombs that look like needles or missiles. It's a seed bomb. It's a seed bomb, Scott. Whatever! <laughs> Not a fucking seed bomb. <laughs> Meanwhile, we were just a big ass armadillo. 
Yeah, fortunately, it's level 95, and it's the only reason I'm still alive right now. Woo! I wonder how many shit we have to go through. Oh. We're actually quite close to the end. Oh, shit, finally! Oh, wait, I mean, oh, no! <laughs> Are you serious? We're almost at the end! Yes! I know how disappointed you will be once this is over, Roxy. Yes, oh, disappointed. I'm going to be oh so very disappointed. I don't know what I'll do to fill the void. You might need to make your own telefang game after this! I would just shoot myself in the foot. <laughs> as well as the thigh. By the way, to finish the game, we have to beat stuff that's level 99. Oh, shit. I think we're going to die. I'm just gonna say that out loud. Like, there's a huge, like, level jump at the very end. What is this, gold and silver? <laughs> ah! No one got that reference. <laughs> I don't give a damn. <laughs> The level curve in gold and silver is insane. Stupid. Like, you have to train for a fucking ever just to be able to defeat the first people in Elite Four. Shit, remember it. I remember going into the Elite Four with six Meganium. The fuck, Sky? How'd you get six? <laughs> then we're using the PC glitch. Because Meganium uh... was my strongest Pokemon at level 59 or something. <laughs> oh, but you have to fight like fire creatures. Like, so you just like burn? Is you? Yeah, I, but I bought a bunch of hyper potions and lemonades and revives and. Uh, I think the hardest bastard. part of that. I think the hardest part would have would have been um, Lance because of his dragon type. Yeah. Yeah, it was hard. I died several times, even with my six level fifty nine meganiums or whatever. <laughs> God, that sounds like a stupid thing. Cause the Meganium suck. I know, but that's the one I picked, so... I, I, I picked Meganium too in Crystal, and she ended up being like level... Shit, she was like 79? Hey, Before hey, he I didn't pick Sucky Pokemon, he just picked Hard Mode. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's true. Well, back yeah. then, mind you, I wasn't really thinking along the lines of Train and Ice type. I figured yeah. that would probably take too long, but... Just like uh, how, um... Right, well, well, super oh. natch, uh, super no electric monsters, or things like that, I don't care at all. What I care is only the prize for Mr. Sanabra. I really thought he was gonna say Mr. Satan. <laughs> and now I'm, re I'm really disappointed. Oh, fuck no. If, if this game has to deal with Satan, I'm gonna make fun of it as much as I can. That's fair. I have the perfect voice for Satan, too. I wonder yeah. if we're gonna... well, we should get to level 99. Maybe. What level is all over? Is it Kurbu, like, 95 or something? Yeah. Everyone else is, like, level 60 or lower, but... <laughs> you lost five points. Oh, no. That's gonna help them any. It'd be interesting if it was permanent five points. Then you'd be fucking scared. No, 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 no. We don't need him. No, 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 no. What's this door? That doors. More stairs. Where are we supposed to be going? The, the lowest uh, floor? Uh, there's no directions. No dir- Oh my god. No directions. <laughs> it just says work your way through. I won't lose this time. I love how- It's lost before. I love how we immediately get into a fight right after opening the door. That guy was conveniently placed. Yep. Oh, oh yeah.
I also remember challenging Red back in Silver. I had a Snorlax that I gave Zap Cannon to. <laughs> I remember fighting Red my first time. And this was after my cousin had fought him. And he was like, oh, Red's really hard. Red's gonna fuck you up, man. He's gonna fucking beat your ass. And I'm like, bitch, I, you are talking to Pokemon Master. I know what I'm doing. Pokemon then, Master? Then I beat Red on my first try without losing the Pokemon. And I'm just like, fuck you. I know what I'm doing. Oh, well, I guess I was off the select. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Whoops. So I think we're going to get to the 90s, guys. <laughs> yeah. You think? No, the we don't want. The, the 90s were an awesome time period, yo. 98, bro? Well... I oh, was more and Sarah's I going up this time. Oh, snap. We gotta, we gotta go up the stairs, and down the stairs, and up the stairs! Oh! <laughs> the Riddle Kid used the phone to defeat me just now. Yeah, that was me. Oh, I won't lose next time. Come on, let's try. No, you just said I beat uh, you. What the hell? This is the same dude, just over and over again? Uh. uh they're all sucky. With multiple terror fangies. Wait, what is... Ah. There. What level are these guys? Um... Not ours, theirs. Oh, we could have seen when we were looking at their stats, but we didn't pay attention. Oh, shit. Ah. Oh. Your attack failed, good sir. There's an attack called HIT. Who's <laughs> HIT? You missed. You're confused. What should I do? Use Fire Blast. Hit myself? Okay. Stupid fucking monster. Hey, what, what do you have you against that? <laughs> oh, right, you, you don't like <laughs> Cheryl Stola or whatever the name is. Ah. Oh. Shell Stola? Why do you keep missing? What I, is this? Yeah. Not being very accurate, are we? He's not gonna get that accurate title. Well, oh, there we go. Stop. Ah. Uh. Did hardly anything. Yes, assault him. Yes, yes. Good boy. Driller. Yay! That was not as much as I thought it would be. You kind of just get used to the battle, and then you're just like cathartic, just like going through the motions of it after a certain point. At no, point, do not want your two hand butt point, phone at number. At this point, it should just be uh. Ooh, another door. What was I going to say? Wait. At this point, it should just be muscle memory. We are just there. Were we? We'll look at the map. Is that where we came from? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's go straight down the, the three-door hallway down there. So go straight through. What, yeah. random encounter, Sue? Fuck this place. Oh, this oh it's loyal. Away. He gives us a phone number, take him. Man. That's a fucking Aerodactyl. <laughs> so? It looks like it. Are you saying okay. that Aerodactyl is not a good Pokemon? Yes. Uh. He's a fossil. Let's see if we get his number. Oh, we got it! I, yeah, take it. Loyal. I can think of six other Pokemon I would rather have than Aerodactyl. Oh, no, you don't. Ah! Ah! Ha ha! He saw you. 
Uh, Mrs. Sonarbra is still working hard for human beings and electric monsters. We shouldn't cause trouble to him. Yes, yes, we should. Whoa, jeez. That's gross. Uh, Literally every monster in this game except for a few, you say is gross. Yeah, because they are. It's a gross game. Oh, okay, none of them are good. Burn them all. Burn, burn them all. <laughs> what what burn, kind burn. of game is this? Burn them all! Wow, most of our people are like 50 levels or below. Oh, jeez, I forgot to check their levels again. Oh, well. Yeah, let's try this. I wanna use Bowler Hat guy. Yeah! One hit KO! Suck. Oh snap! Bomb fly vacuum. B silo. <laughs> oh, well, I did a decent amount of damage. Oh! I did a better amount of damage. Salt mode activate this dude shit, son. It's oh, just salty. Oh, oh. You know who else is salty? No, Me funny. after that place fight here. Use B silo. Okay, in five turns. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Or more. He won't Things survive. He's gonna be dead. See? Oh! Not even close. 424 No, do not want. No me gusta. Shit, remember Shit. it! Oh, jeez. <laughs> I can't get around these guys! guys. <laughs> You're not uh, supposed to. Mrs. Mm -hmm. Sanabra has got all things ready to guard against those guys. They won't cause trouble. Well, you're yeah. causing trouble for me, so... Yeah, seriously. So what level are they? 54 level 54 and 56 yeah. Gotta kill them all man Just kill them all Oh your favorite Gross <laughs> oh. oh look we have the same one what was that kind of move? What? Why are they named differently? Because there's a character limit on our side for some reason. That's weird. Dipusa. You gotta get Dipusa. Dip USA! Dip USA! Yeah, let's dip the USA into the water <laughs> to the really city. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's like an ancient eagle. Is what it is. Uh, Phoenix? No, like the. the you know, because it's. Pusa. Oh, I thought you meant. Calatus. Is no. Isn't that like Medusa? Don't know. What? <laughs> I thought there were other snakes in this thing. Never mind. No, like I was saying, like, um. The. Debusa is like an ancient eagle. Of prehistoric times. That's why it has USA in the name. Uh, uh, me. The more you know. Yeah, I'm pulling shit on my ass, but okay. Oh, B silo. <laughs> no. Wow. Was overthrown. Good job on the overkill, there, buddy. <laughs> that was why kind of late. No, do not want your number. Go away. You sucks. Shit, remember it. These guys are evil. Since when yeah. do you find an evil team with this much profanity? I'm pretty sure Team Galactic would have this much profanity if they weren't so god awful. Oh, I oh. I wish to protect the treasures here. What shall I do? I'm out of the get, way. I'm gonna get shit for that. 53, 55, 56. So, all around the 50, there he is, pretty much. 
level bowler hat guy. Uh, 40 something, I think? Oh, 50, that's... 55. Oh. I was about to say, that's fucking lame. Also, is it just me, or does this rat thing look like it has Suicune hair mixed with Mawile? I think you mentioned that last time. I think it's I'm just gross. gross. I'm almost positive I did. But it's true. It's like a Bulbasaur rat with Suicune hair with a Mawile set, and it's fucking disgusting. I, I thought it was more like a Rattata with Mawile. Well, I mean, I mean, he's a rat regardless, but, like, the purple thing just above the eye kind of reminds me of Suicune. Oh, yeah. Hey, Suicune. Because Suicune has that kind of, like, blue-purple blue color scheme thing. Where yeah, it's not... she's more blue and dog-like, not... Well, I'm not talking like... about the rat's body itself. And no, like, I'm, I'm talking about... about, like, the head that looks like a face. On its back. Well, I mean, it, it kind of looks flowy like Suicune. It looks like someone just took a head of a creature and then put it onto a rat to grow it. Well, like, when you look at Suicune's hair, like, not the fur on his body, but like, right behind its giant crystal on its forehead, mm -hmm. you've got that, like, purple, flowy mane like thing. You're not gonna be able to get past him. You're gonna find them no matter what. Uh, where are they? Have you seen other guys? Too many. Oh. Way too many. So I guess we're not fighting the same person over and over again. We're just fighting all his twin brothers. It's like we're- It's like we're fighting Nurse Joy. Or That's Officer what's her Jenny. Fuck? Yeah, that. You remember the song that they came out with Brock where he's singing about Officer Jenny and Nurse Joy? Probably not. Oh, you don't remember that? Where he's like singing about how much he loves them? Was it in the like first anime? Oh, no, I think it was like one of the side things from the movies, or it might have been in one of the seasons. I don't remember it. I, I remember everything in the movies except for the uh, second Mewtwo movie. Not that shitty genocide one, but the, like, the real second one. Huh? Which one are you talking about? Um, the one where Giovanni comes in and tries to fuck shit up, and this takes place, like, after the events of, uh, New Island. There was a movie on that? Yeah. Because it was really cool. It was called Mewtwo Returns. I think it was. I think that was it. Because the first one was Mewtwo Strikes Back. The second one was uh, Mewtwo Returns, because it was in Johto. And then the third Mewtwo movie was uh, the one with Genesect. Okay, I must have gonna post out. something, but I don't, don't I, look at I, it. I only thought there were two. The first one and the Genesect uh, one. Nope. I remember this one because there was like a really weird female character who ended up betraying Ash because she was working for Giovanni. Hmm. And I remember there being an island that Mewtwo was on, and it started out with Mewtwo and the clones on, so, like, looking at some kind of computer or something. I think that's how it started with. It was an hour-long episode, is what it was. It wasn't an actual movie. Oh, well, now you see, you you just confuse the I heck out of everyone. It's If it's an hour-long episode, I'm going to assume it's a movie if it's Pokemon-based. So I was sitting here thinking, well, what kind of movie is he talking about? And well, now it's an episode. Oh, that's, that's a different story. It's an, it was a special hour-long episode. And I just... It takes... It's a direct follow-up to the first movie, so I'm, I'm gonna call it a movie. <laughs> Before all the negative comments come in about how it's not a movie. They can fucking bite me! <laughs> Whoa. Who's this? I, thought, I, hmm. I read that as ho for a minute. Oh. Well, well, still no. <laughs> well, make a call then. So oh, now. Wow, this person's getting straight to it. Okay, this is weird. So we, we've gone from fighting 
actual people to now fighting monsters, so we're making progress. Sure. Can I just run? No, I guess not. No, I don't think so. So, the song for Brock is called Two Perfect Girls. And it's from the Pokemon 3 Ultimate soundtrack. That's what it's from. Oh, that no wonder I don't remember it. I still well, like, miss Brock. Yeah, the Brock is But like the course is like Jenny, oh Jenny, Joy, oh Joy. Um, a one woman man is what I want to be, but there's two perfect girls for me. What the shit? Yeah, legit song. That's fucking stupid. How is that stupid? I don't know, I always found Brock to be really annoying. Brock was funny. It was a comic relief, and then when they it's took him out funny. of the series, it was like, oh, great. Yeah, boring with that Brock. Fun funny is subjective. I mean, to, to be honest, Clement and Bonnie, I mean, they try to be funny, but it's still not the same. I'm responsible for safeguarding the room. I'll go. Well, I think we're going the right way, then. I guess so. I've heard a lot of good things about the X and Y anime. Oh. I just, I just ignore them all. The I just only haven't gotten really around to watching it. The only good thing is that, I'll be honest, Serena is cute, although I'm not a huge fan, but other than that... I've seen the battle against Ash and Olympia, and that was a really good battle. So, the battles are getting good. Ash is getting more competent as a trainer. But... Well, I mean... It, it, it's subjective, right? Because, I mean, he was competent in the Sinnoh era, and then they came out with Unova, and all of a sudden he lost all of his memories, it seemed like, but... What? Oh no, not that trope. Was he competent in Sinnoh? Because I remember him being kind of dumb. He, he was a lot more competent in Sinnoh than in the previous three. Because I know in Hoenn he was dumb as shit. Yeah. Oh, Chico, you're a water type? Yeah, well, those were the old days. Mm -hmm. I mean, Sinnoh, okay. he was actually pretty good, and then Unova, all of a sudden, he from well, we all remember when, uh... I don't. <laughs> okay, Wasn't well... Wasn't he, like, 14 when he started with Pikachu? 10. No, he's young. 10. 10? Damn. I heard that this is speculation oh! that X and Y... Oh, wow, 99. All snap! Level 99, oh yeah. Oh. Did you but, see yeah. this? I don't think he did. I went by too quickly, I couldn't see. But yeah, oh, it's just I a heard, treasure room. I heard that the speculation for X and Y was that Ash has actually gotten older. That was the speculation, except they started the actual season by um, Roger Parsons explaining how he was 10. Mm. I'm responsible for the safeguard in the room, uh, let's go. Wait, they actually explain how Ash is still 10? The first how is he still 10? The first episode of the XY arc started with Ash flying over there, and when he was in his room back home, uh, Roger Parsons said he's a 10-year-old. So you're saying it's a he had a flashback to when he was 10? from the first season. No. Th this was actually happening. It, it was being narrated as he was in his room. Because remember, after Unova, he came back to uh, Kanto. I don't remember that. Okay. Well, anyways, and he... I never finished watching the Unova season. Well, there you I go. I've, I've never finished watching a single season of Pokemon because they always get some boring as shit. And oh, it's so like dumb episodes in there that it's just like, I don't want to watch them. I, I, I can't argue with you on some of them being boring, but... Like, hold on. Any me, filler is kind of boring. Let me see where I left off in the original. Or the Indigo League. Look, the, the gist of it Netflix. is when he loses at the Unova League, which was mm -hmm. more than expected. Uh, spoilers, by the way. 
But anyways, uh -huh. uh, when he loses at the Unova League, they go back to Kanto, and then the first episode of XY, he's in his house in Kanto, uh, packing his bags to leave to go to Kalos, and while he's in the room, at the beginning of the episode, the narrator specifically says, This is Ash Ketchum. He's 10 years old, on a journey to become a Pokémon Master, and then he goes flying off to Kalos, where he meets Serena and the others. I don't remember that. And they I basically did, just did a reboot. I did watch the first episode, because I was, I was in uh, Orlando, Florida, on uh, Fall Break, and I was watching it, because we had this, like, huge TV, and it was the middle of day, middle of the day, and we didn't have any plans for the day, so I was like, I'm, I'm gonna watch Pokemon. Rewatch the first one again. You'll, you'll see what I mean. The last episode that I left off on in the Indigo League was like, Bulbasaur's Mysterious Garden, and I got about five minutes into the episode. Hmm. And that's episode 48. I don't think I've missed a single episode since. Now, I will say this. I have finished the first set of the original Yu-Gi-Oh! I've watched all of GX, and I've watched a good portion, consciously, of 5 e And I refuse to watch Zexel. Why? Because Zexel is garbage. Why don't you like I, Zexel? I, I hate Zexel. I've, I've tried watching different episodes, and the protagonist just makes me so angry. You don't like Yuma? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> the only good thing that I think came out of Zexel was Ixie's Monsters, and that's it. And I'm not caught up in uh, the Arc V either. What was the last episode of Arc V I watched? Right now, Christina's cringing, because we literally had a discussion earlier today about Yu-Gi-Oh! Why the fuck was not I invited? It's because it's a shitty fucking game. <laughs> Boy, I will fucking fight you! All card games are shitty in my eyes, though. Even Magic, and I played that for ten years, so... Call me horses. It's... I, I've got two Magic decks, and I can't stand Magic. All card games are just money grubbers. That's all it is. That's all video it's games not... are too, but we still play them. I'm sorry, I can play a video game for the rest of my life and not spend another penny on something I already purchased, but if you want to stay relevant in the card industry, you have to buy new cards when they come out. I mean, if you want to stay relevant in Pokemon, you gotta buy the new Pokemon game. Yeah, if you... but if I don't want to be relevant, then I don't have to. And the same thing with cards, but... You can't go to tournaments. You can. No, you can't go to tournaments and have old cards. Yeah, you can. Every tournament I've ever been to, you had to basically make the deck there. Well, as I long as they're not rotated out of format, right? I could go to a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament using nothing but Yu-Gi's very first deck, excluding any banned cards, and replacing them with older cards that weren't banned that fit the theme of the deck, and I can enter a tournament no problem. Now, who's to say I win is another story. Okay, how about going to ex and expecting to win? If I'm expecting to win, I'm gonna use... Um, you have to new use newer cards. Because older cards, there's ways around it and people have built well, strategies. And newer cards are just better, especially in well, Magic. There's also ways around newer cards, and they're still making support for the older cards. Like, they're making more support cards for Dark Magician and Blue-Eyes White Dragon. Keeping those older cards that you said you couldn't use, keep, they're keeping them relevant. Like, in May, they're coming out with a new deck that has the spell card that pretty much says, Oh, you got a level 7 or 8 dragon in the grave? Here, bring so, it on back. Magic, standard tournaments for Magic, is like, oh, uh, what is this? I'm here Only in the, the most recent these four editions. Electric monsters. I also did so in the hall at the opposite side. So uh, what? <laughs> I use reading the text then because we're ignoring the game. But right. yeah, so you can only go four sets back in Magic. You can't take something from the first edition sets. 
That's stupid. That, those are tournament standards, and you have to follow by it. So if you want to be tournament re tournament relevant, you have to stay up to date with your decks. I mean, you so it's it's a money grubbing society. That's what it is. It's buy new cards to stay relevant. Well, like, you still have to stay relevant in Yu-Gi-Oh by updating your deck to fit the ban list, but if I wanted to, I could go into a tournament with an Exodia deck. And the possibility of, win of me winning is... Mm. It depends on how many times I can draw Exodia. Like, look at uh, League of Legends and Heroes of the Storm. Those are games, like, League of Legends is free to play. You can buy all the heroes with in-game currency that you gain over time. You don't have to spend a single penny on it. And as long as you're good at the game, you stay relevant. Alright. Look at, uh... Smash Bros. You want all these new, uh, characters they coming out for DLC? Like, you know, Bayonetta that got banned in Spain? You gotta fork over, like, what was it? Six bucks? Seven bucks? Let's we see. have right to protect Mr. Sinatra. Um, as far as I know, Smash Brothers is a, a niche market, whereas League of Legends, Heroes of the Storm, um, StarCraft, those are e-gaming events. Those are so, esports. Big money to be had. Well, if that's the case, then take a uh, take Splatoon in for account because that's gotten into esports now. I will give you this, literally everything that's came out in Splatoon has been free, but forced upon you. It is still in eSports. In fact, shit, I think some, I think there was some tournament, or some eSports tournament for Splatoon, where the price was like, what was it, 10k? No, not 10k. But, like, remember in tournaments, especially for video game tournaments, their accounts are completely unlocked when they're in tournaments, so you don't have to pay anything other than an entrance fee to get into tournaments like that. I think I'm Everything going is the wrong given way to you. Or... You might have been. I'm Probably. not sure. I What's assume, the map? I assume I have to get to the lowest floor, and I keep going back up. So I don't know. Maybe it's like up and down and around. Wait. Since it's relic, uh, treasures should be found everywhere, well, but there's nothing here. Because I already opened a chest. Yeah, I guess. Do they respawn? Is that what's happening? No. Are you... So was he just not in there before? What? Was that dude just not in there before? He was in there, but I avoided him, and oh. unfortunately I didn't avoid him this time, but... Eh, it's fine. Just beat him into the ground. We'll get experience for it. No we? Is the uh, cap 99 or 100? 99. Yeah, he's almost there. So, apparently confusion is dictated by the word high in the top left corner. Followed hmm. by an exclamation mark. <laughs> Sober from confusion? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh, so he sobered up. He's got a tolerance to being high. That's, uh. that's pretty funny. I, I find that hilarious. I still can't, like, look at that creature and think anything other than the stupid uh, horror movie. I think it's, like, uh, Still Alive or something like that. Where these, like, little alien creatures go around just shoving their dicks into anything that moves. Uh. So weird. Looks almost exactly like that. This to is the why these things are gross. <laughs> to the point you were making earlier, though, comparing the the card games to video games, I think it kind of differs depending on the game, though, right? Because, for example, if you want to get into a Pokemon video game tournament, you have to have the latest cartridge. Kind of like in in a card game where you have to have the latest cards. But then yeah, you have but other in games. a card game, everything's determined by luck. Luck of the draw. Yeah. Whereas in a video game, it's all on your skill. Yeah, that's true. If you that's draw a shitty hand, you're gonna have a shitty hand. There's nothing that you can do to stop that. Well, see, that all goes into your deck building. Did you not go into that room? No, did there? you want me to? You should probably, just in case. Alright. Cause like, you could have the worst deck and get the best hand ever. 
and then you can have the best deck and get the worst hand ever. But... Yeah, that's where the skill comes in, is actually building your deck, but that comes with money. You're gonna- the better cards cost more. That's just how it is. Well, not necessarily, like... Or you I'm could build... depend on I'm building... luck and accuracy with Pokémon battles. <laughs> yeah. I'm building a deck right now that, last I checked, tops at about 40 bucks and some odd cents. And the most expensive card in that deck would be like, 6 bucks. And this deck is one that is able to crush the meta, and it's such a good deck. And it's like, and yeah, 40 bucks for a deck, it's still pretty up there. But it's not as insane as, say, let me hop on Amazon real quick and open up another deck that I have built that I can't actually make decent because I refuse to spend over $10 for a card. Let me see. What is it? Oh, yeah. Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon. This card alone, the first in... The First one, sixteen dollars and eighty nine cents. Mhm. Mm and so, yeah, there's that's some... cheap. Well, well. No, that's cheap compared to some magic cards. Well, yeah, magic cards can get really up there, like like I think Black was... Lotus, which is like five hundred dollars. Was it? I thought it? I thought it was more. I thought it was like way more. Oh, my mistake. Uh, 50k. Yeah. $50,000. 50000 500 is when I was playing. And if memory like serves, years ago. that Black Lotus card is the most expensive uh, card out there in existence in any game. I, th I don't even know what the most expensive Yu-Gi-Oh card is right now. Because their prices fluctuate constantly, depending on what deck is flowing in the meta. Like, mm, during Dragon Rulers, the most expensive cards would have been the four Dragon Rulers in their adult form, their four babies, um, number 11 Big Eye, and Mecha Phantom Beast Dracosac. But, ever since uh, Dragon Rulers got hit, all those cards went down in price, including Big Eye, which is still usable in today's format, with, um, the Red Eye Structure decks, and the Red Eye Structure, not Structure decks, the Red Eye uh, Meta decks, which are God. Mm -hmm. God is in uh, fucking great. You can still, and you can pull, like, you could get a random chance to get a number 11 Big Eye in the recent Infinite Gold packs, and they're going for, like, Anywhere from two seventy six to twenty bucks on Amazon. Actually, Sanabra's electric monsters are right in the relic area. Well, thank you for telling us. It would be nice to know where the relic area is. Mhm. Mm oh, maybe What's... he's talking about the relic castle. Maybe. Oh, that was Jesus. that was a joke. But Roxy clearly didn't get it. Yeah, I didn't. Rella Castle, Unova. Oh. Oh, man. Ugh. I never cared that much about Relic Castle. I never cared about traversing it. Jesus Christ. Big Eyes running from $2 to 100 and... 26? 27? Anyways. Too much. Too fucking much. Card games is just one big sinking hole. But mm. that's how that industry makes its money. We- you know what? We should invent a new card game. No. <laughs> that way we can get in on this money grabbing industry. No. You should just combine all the rules from Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic, Vanguard, <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> Make them into one big card game. The most confusing card game ever created. 
Yeah. I was about to say something. If World of Warcraft can't get in on the card game business, what do you think we have? Didn't it have a card? It did have a card game, and then it came out with Hearthstone, oh, which yeah. is like oh, a yeah, digital Hearthstone card game. Thing. And Hearthstone is really big. Yeah, I can't get into Hearthstone with shit. I just can't. I don't see- I don't see the appeal of Hearthstone. It's just like every other card game, just digital. That's it. Uh, that would probably be it then, because I can't stand the, uh... Ooh! Level 62! But it's- it's a lot like Magic, where it's like, the- the character you choose is like a planeswalker, so they have their own special little ability, but you only have like 20 health, and... Reminds me of a Game Grumps video I was watching, I think it was like Super Mario Maker. Yeah, like we got a bucket. And all of a sudden you hear Dan just shout out, FUCK YOU PLANESWALKERS! Yeah, Planeswalkers was a mistake. What's the name of this area? I'm gonna fucking look up a map for this shit. Uh, Kagutes. Spell that? Kagutes site. K A G U T E S. We've been wandering this area for the last 45 minutes, and we're making progress because oh. we keep going down to whatever the basement cactus. level we're on. The cactus ruins is what we're in. The bootleg of it, which would. I assume what we're, we're in is called the Kagut's Ruin or whatever. Yeah, site. Yeah, that. If we just explore everywhere, we'll eventually make it there. So, it's an adventure, guys. It's an adventure. I don't like adventure. Oh, you're part of it. I, I say this as I have Xenoblade Chronicles X sitting on my gaming shelf next to Twilight Princess HD. Uh-huh. Oh. There we go, we got a door this time. That's good. They look a diamond, too. Do we even know what floor we're on? Nope. No, but I assume it's gotta be basement oh. 7 or something. Well, I let me see the map. We are not on basement 7. Oh, we've been to this basement floor, though. I'd say like 5, probably. Keep the map up. Hold on. Hold on. I, f I found a map of each individual floor. Uh-huh. We are on Basement 5, holy shit. Really? It feels like Basement 7. We are on 5, and... You are going the right way, I think? Yay! Trial and error. Just blindly go where no man's gone before. Exactly. Because there's only ever been E-Monsters down here, so... Ouch. You can do it, Sko. Hi. I bothered you several days ago. There are some gifts in return. Uh huh. Yeah, oh god, that's kind of cool. Yep. We hey, are... hey, we didn't see what he was like. Oh, we are... well, I'll I'll take the phone number anyway. If you really want him. Maybe are... I don't know. We are indeed on. He five. looks kind of cool. Is that a good I thing or a bad really... thing? He's a really rare one, too. Is he? Yeah, the rarity for getting him is like 10. Oh, well, if he gives us his number, you know. Take that shit. Mm hmm. Hit that man up. Mm hmm. Oh, no. No, okay. Shit, remember it. Well, fuck you, too. Oh, we are going the right way, because. Going I'm... down to six. Yes. Alright. So, six. Uh, the, the... Why does it not tell me the floor number on the map? Because it doesn't want you to know where the floor number yep. is. Then pull up the map, hold on. Oh, no, where... I have finally become the friend of the electric monster who was a best friend of Mrs. Sanabra. Mr. So he's a friend of a friend. Hmm. Friend. The enemy of my enemy is my friend! What about the friend of my friend is the enemy? What? Yeah, that works. <laughs> God, it's too late at night. Don't fuck me up like this, fam. <laughs> no, that that works. You know, hating your friend's friend. I get it. Can 
I just hate myself instead? No. Not allowed. I can't hate myself for all these cards. No. Nope. <laughs> I have too many. I'm a prime example of why the Yu-Gi-Oh business- <laughs> Of why Yu-Gi-Oh stays in business. You yep. are supporting the Yu-Gi-Oh monopoly. Just throwing money down the is what you're doing. I will give Konami all my money for Yu-Gi-Oh, but I will never buy their games. <laughs> Not after what they did. Uh, until yeah. they, uh, come out with a VR version. Okay, if they come- if they ever come out with a VR version of Yu-Gi-Oh, I will immediately jump on that shit. Also, pull up the map. Heart of the cards! Guide you. Uh, what is the long hallway? Okay, we are going the right way. Yay. Yes! It was a 50-50 shot, and I picked the right one. Good keep job. going- keep going all the way to the right, and then when you get a chance to go- then go up. When you get a chance to go left, instead of going up, go left. Well, there's only up. <laughs> well, there's gonna be two options, so... I I'm looking at the map, trust me, I know. Gee, how come you couldn't find the map? Uh, lazy? Uh... Also, I'm pretty sure we're on two different, like, websites. Cause this website shows me all of the, like, items and shit. Mm. I wish I could find the Supernal Electric Monster. The Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan Telefang. Ugh, is it over yet? No. No? No. No. <sighs> yeah. It's okay. Rock Roxy's doing his part with finding the map. I mean, all, all I did was literally just Google uh, Kagoot's uh, site and <laughs> Telefang. That's yeah, all I Googled. You don't, you don't have to, like, drag me through the dirt now, Roxy. Just <laughs> I will kick you out while you're down all I want. I thrive off of it. Bitch, please. I did enough uh, looking up for this stuff. Looking up which monster gets what and where we needed to go next. So don't give me this lip. I had it pulled up and you're like, oh no, I'm going to be faster than Roxy. <laughs> so I was like, fine. This is where we need to turn left, by the way. Uh, we've been here so deep inside, but still oh. can find supernatural electric monsters. Did you, did you guys ever think about going left? No. Uh, no, I can only turn right. We need to go deeper. Yeah, much, much deeper. Whoa, Scott. All the deep. I think you might need to calm down. <laughs> go so deep. I think you need to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't start it. That electric monster did. Yeah, seriously, he came up to us. He asked for it. Was he walking down the street and out the corner of our- Were we walking down the street and out the corner of our eyes? We saw a little pretty thing approaching us. the monsters are swearing. Yep. Unbelievable. Shit! It's just a swear fest. <laughs> it is. Shit, fucking remember it, bitch! I'm waiting for that. We, okay, we want to so get- what, We want to get the gear on the purple blob! The peach the guy! <laughs> go to the left. A whole bunch of lefts. Just going in circles. Where and are lefts. What kind of a map is this? We're, we're going the right way, trust me. Uh huh. Oh, another one. See? Anyway, it makes no difference whoever does it. Oh, wow. That, that guy, he's open minded. What? Oh, oh my god. Jeez. Oh. What? He said it. Ugh. <sighs> My problem. You should charge up your special attack. He's flying, anyways. Uh. We got trouble. He better not fly again after I charge. We have got trouble. Uh. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen if he flies again. I already know it. Turn three. Four. 
Ah! No, 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 no. It's still another turn or two, right? We've got trouble. Five. Yes, he came back. See? Turn six. Now watch me miss. You're not gonna miss. What is this? Casino's right. I guess, maybe. We took unnecessary damage, but Casino's right. <laughs> unnecessary damage. Yeah. He, he was a profane person anyway, so it it's okay. I'm a profane person. We're all profane people. It's just an excuse. Except, except Roxy, you're not. ruining my excuses. <laughs> what kind We're all profane Jeez, we are going in a circle in a way. I told you. Complete just, circle. Just, 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 just go through the door. Oh. My That's... god, evil e-monster! What are you doing here? How do you know he's evil? I'm Satan. Are you the little kid? Failing to imprison me. I won't lose this time! Wait and see! <laughs> well, do you want to take a good beating? Oh Especially like god. that little kid. <laughs> oh my god! Little kid, did he have a fight with Ken? Who's Ken? I don't fucking know. Is that, Is that Ken? Uh, he was defeated. I got the new power from a man named Sanabra and defeated him. Cause I'm fucking Satan, bitch. Have you told Sanabra about this place? Well, yes, he gave me power. That. I told him the sleeping place of supernal monsters. Evil E monster, I will shut you in somewhere and won't let you out forever. Come on, fight against me. Wow, good English, bro. Oh, okay. No, that's not Satan. Oh, that's let's go work. He's level seventy, man. What's yes. his position? Maybe we can like capture him. The fuck is that? Seems awkward. Wise? What's his position? He's irritable. So uh, irritable. What is iron tree? Automatically uses first attack. He irritated me. No, he's not. Uh, he's not good. Hey, no. He's a god. He's not. He's, well, he's not Satan. Wait, what so, type is he? Not uh, Satan type. One he's second. A, what does it matter? He's not the Satan type. <laughs> no, the actual type. Uh, he's a god denju. Grass type. Grass. What's effective? Oh, sand. Fire. No, obviously sand is useful against grass. Well, yeah, in okay. this game, there is no fire type. I think sand is effective against grassland. Or, or flying. But... Uh. He's aight. Not that good. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna die. I think I'm gonna die. How are you gonna die? Because official Master Sword and Healing and Shield replicas are doing the least, and that makes me so happy. It's been Master Swords up for a while. Well, this one's a different kind. It's the, uh, Sky- I, I mean, I have a Master Sword sitting in my room, but this one's based off the Skyward Sword appearance. Oh. Because, like, the one from- the one I have from, like, it's really shitty, and it's from Hot Topic. This is from, uh, Merch Incredible Lake. Source. Mercury. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, oh my god. Holy what shit. the? What the hell just happened? We just got fucked. We literally... What happens now? Damn. Why couldn't I defeat you? Hmm. Oh. This is strength. If you know your place, don't show up again. Oh, I think that was a fight. Yeah, I think that we were meant to lose that. <laughs> okay yeah. then. Damn it! God, anytime he tells us, I'll, I, I got you, fam. Okay. You can read this one though, because he's not cussing. It's a fault. Uh, problem. when you okay, so you battle him. Uh, battle him and he'll move, uh, but you can't battle, like, you can't defeat him in the battle. Um, 
Uh, when you receive an important call, so you have to find Boundary. He is outside of the outside of the cave. Talk to him and he'll give you his partner's number. Okay. Mr. Beck, uh, this is Suki. Uh, well, have you met the Super No E monster? Sunky, I am failed. Wow, okay. What's up, Mr. Beck? What happened? I was gonna say it. it okay, it's a good this thing that was better English than you, little boy. Intentional loss because uh, I was well, like, no, what? Like was... 29 levels ahead of this guy. Yeah, I no, just want to point out that you meant to win. I just want to point out that Caribou's rocking it, rocking it out with his cock out. Oh my god! Jeez. Oh, I noticed that right after the fight, and I had to point that out. The That's evil E-Monster came to repay the Super Null E-Monster. I challenged him against this, but was defeated. I, what shall I do? How can you be such a coward? Oh, shit! It's not Beck. If you can't make it by yourself, you can have someone else go with you. Well, two men. If I can find Ken, both of us can then challenge the evil E-Monster. It sounds like bullying. I'm gonna fuck him up. <laughs> Has Ken been there? Find him for help. But I'm not sure if he will agree or not. If you don't try, you'll never know what will happen. <laughs> That's some wise words right there. Uh, maybe Ken is thinking of the same thing? Okay, go and find Ken and persuade him. Keep moving, Mr. Beck. I don't need Ken. I, I could beat this guy myself. If the answer couldn't be found out... Wait, what? You can uh, en enter there. We can't enter! Are, are, you, are you fucking serious? <laughs> so... We, we are one square away from basement 7. And now you're saying we can't enter? We have to exit the cave. Please don't tell me I have to go through seven You have to go through all the basements. Oh my god. Oh. Are you serious? You got bullshit? 